Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special edition of Ask the Crown. I'm Elizabeth Seyfried, Miss United States 2014, and Miss World Americas 2015. I'm so excited to be introducing the 2015 class of Miss World America, who will be competing this summer in Washington, D.C. in July. I'm Catherine Cooksey, Miss New York World 2015. Tell us about where you're from and your family and your community. I actually grew up in California, but like everyone who has a really big dream, I decided to move to New York to pursue my Master's of Fine Art. So this has really become my community. It's a wonderful place to meet other people who have traveled to New York in pursuit of their dreams. Tell us something about yourself that no one else knows. I actually don't have anything that nobody knows. I'm a very open person, and I think as an artist, you have to be true to your character and who you are so that you can be creative. And so I, I really don't have anything that nobody knows, but one thing that a lot of people forget is that I have a visual eye disability. Knowing what you know now, if you could write a letter to yourself when you were young, what would you say? I've actually thought about this, um, and, and I worry, I've seen the movie The Butterfly Effect, and it would just mess up all kinds of crazy things that would happen, but I also believe that your failures and your mistakes that you make as a younger person growing up are really important, so I would choose not to write myself a letter um, because I would want myself to experience everything to get to the point where I am now. Tell us about your Beauty with a project and how you selected it. I actually, um, in the fifth grade, I was diagnosed with three different learning disabilities dyslexia, a speech impediment, as well as having a visual eye disease. And since then, school has been very difficult for me. There were certain things that I wasn't able to do without accommodations, like big print books. I had to sit in front of the class, and I had some teachers that did not want to give me those accommodations, and I felt like I didn't have the right to learn. Luckily, I've moved past that, and I want to make sure that every child who has learning dis disabilities and special needs feel that they not only have the right to learn, but they have the ability to learn as well. And so that's my Beauty with a Purpose project. Knowing that Miss World is a community ambassador, tell us why you should be Miss World America. I think as a community ambassador for America, you really have to have a experience with the diverse communities that America has. And literally traveling from coast to coast, California to New York with stops in between, I really have gotten the grasp of how diverse America is. I think that's important as being a community leader, as well as knowing that my Beauty with a Purpose project doesn't have borders. It doesn't stop within states. Um, and therefore, even the world has struggles with um, children who have learning disabilities and special needs. So that's, I think, important and that I would make a good uh, Miss World America because I have all of these experiences. Tell us a fun fact. I was a high school cheerleader, and because of my eyesight, I wasn't able to see the game or the scoreboard. And so I would always cheer as though our team was always winning, no matter what was happening. And so this is the same strategy I use on stage, um, is I can't see any of the audience's faces, and so I always imagine that my friends and family are there cheering me on despite what happens in the end. 
Thank you so much to everyone who let us interview them on Ask the Crown, and thank you to everyone for watching. I'm so excited to meet all the women in Washington, D.C. in July who will be competing for Miss World America. Uh -huh.